Downtown Design is the region's leading design fair. And this is our first year here, and we're very happy to be part of their biggest and most ambitious edition ever. This along with our Cosentino City at D3, supporting the A&D community and all our partners, is a, is a reflection of, of our commitment uh, for the growth of the design industry and our positive market outlook. We believe in this region, we believe in the growth of this region, in the future of this region, and we will continue to invest. Globally, Cosentino supports the talents and growth of architecture and design professionals, and this collaboration with the American University of Sharjah is just another step in that line. So we threw them the design challenge of creating a piece that embodies the DNA of the company, of the brand. We didn't know what to expect from them, and we were actually very surprised when they came up with uh, such a minimalistic piece, architectural piece, that offers you a sensorial experience, but also at the same time, it puts you in touch with the flexibility and truth of the, our very own vector material. I think besides the, the final construct or the final design and fabricated uh, object as this pavilion is, I think that um, creating opportunities and collaborations with external institutions and companies like Cosentino allows us to bridge this gap between academia and professional life. Uh, at the American University of Sarja and, uh, and within the interior design program, one of our main goals is to um, provide to our students a hands-on experience. Not just strictly from the point of view of just making with your own hands, and, uh, fabricate analog and digitally, but also providing them with real experiences where they have to deal with a real client, uh, with a real budget, okay, and at the end of the day with a real deadline. So we are really grateful to Cosentino for allowing us to have this experience for us in collaboration with our students. So thanks again. We would like to uh, talk about the process of how this happened and um, what we were focusing on or trying to achieve throughout the design of this uh, De Paso was uh, really emphasizing the experience of being around this material, being engulfed in it rather than interacting with it in day-to-day -day experiences. Um, so that was one of our like main focuses for the whole design. Okay, so in addition to that, we were really trying to portray that idea of uh, the material being all around. It could be on the floor, it could be on the walls, it could be on the ceiling, it could be anywhere. Uh, we really wanted to draw it and pass, uh, people passing by into the installation and really uh, just feel like they were out, outside, they were somewhere else. Uh, from the name De Paso, as she mentioned earlier, came from the idea of the for Decton, the used material, and Paso of passing through the material. And again, we'd like to thank Costino very much for, uh, for offering us such um, opportunity. It was a, it's a very good warm up for the life we're going to face after graduation. And thank you. This is uh, called Industrial Collection. It's, this is the second, the second launch of the collection. The first we did last year. Uh, in the original one, we explore uh, the decay in metals, the oxidation processes. And uh, as a second stage, we decided to explore how um, cements and, and, and stones decay and how they get, you know. Uh, abused by the time and the use and and we came up with all of these new colors which explore really more like the cement part of the of the material. I think that this collection is really versatile because it explores from a metal to a stone, everything in between. You have dark colors, you have soft colors, you have white colors, and I think that it allows you to um, use it in a variety of ways. You can use it in outdoors, in a decking situation, in a floor, you can use it in walls, you can use it in a kitchen, you can use it in a bathroom, but you also can use it in a big project uh, in a building. One of these colors of the collection was selected by Ron Arad for one of his projects and is being used uh, to cover the uh, facade of the building he designed. I think that uh, the Paso, this installation, uh, what it does is that it lets you experience the materiality in all its glory. You see the big size of the slabs, you can, it's very tactile, you can touch it, you can walk through it, 
And you have this thing of walking into this cave and then going outside and expanding. So I think it's a really beautiful job, well done by the two students that designed it. So congratulations for that. Uh, right now we're exploring um, colors, really intense colors, solid colors, and uh, there's going to be a preview of what's coming in uh, next year in uh, KB's, in the kitchen and bathroom show in the United States. And uh, I'm really excited because it's a collection that we've been working for a long time right now, and I think that it will represent the times, and that it's really bold and different, so I hope that you guys will like it.